excited to see you all here tonight for the production of Pine Beetle Battles by the Young Environmental Stewards Club. These students have been studying wildland fire ecology all semester. They've visited the wildland fire crew, the Pike Hotshots. They've learned about good fire, bad fire, and of course, last but not least, the pine beetles, those nasty little tiny bugs that have been turning Colorado trees red, brown, and dead across our state. So without further ado this evening, let's, um, let's watch as some pine beetles attack a Colorado forest. Oh, you know what? I think you need some special facts about pine beetles first, because you guys look like you need to know a couple of things about pine beetles, I think. Do we have some special facts about pine beetles that might help our audience out tonight? Oh, oh here are our special facts. Please open your programs to the page with the pine beetle facts. Mount pine beetle or M wait, mountain pine beetles or MPB. Native to Western North America are the most important insect pest of Colorado's pine forests. MPB often kill large numbers of trees annually during outbreaks. Thank you very much, ladies. So You, you hear, and I hope you get the impression, that these pine beetles can be really scary if you're a tree. I mean, they're really destructive. So uh, let's bring out a whole forest of native Colorado trees and see what these pine beetles can really do. Come on, trees. Isn't Colorado so beautiful, guys? Yeah. Hey, guys. What's up? Don't you think? Now uh, let's let's bring in a couple of pine beetles and see how that changes things. What are you looking at? We're, the trees are native to Colorado, and we are too. <laughs> hey, aspen tree, uh, what's the matter with you? Why are you why are you shaking? You have stage fright. Or are you afraid of the pine beetles? I don't have stage fright. I'm a quaking aspen. Quaking is what I do. Oh, a quaking aspen. Of course. <laughs> Smells like SPF 7. Their, their bark is a natural sunscreen. Gross. Let's see about eating a different tree. Well, it turns out that pine beetles do not like that yucky sunscreen taste. The natural sunscreen on an aspen tree's bark. So it looks like they're checking out some of the other trees in the forest. I see them over by that Douglas fir now. Let's watch. Huh? Don't worry, Douglas. Maybe they won't like the way you taste. Mmm, smells like a Douglas fir. Too tangy. Yuck. <laughs> well, it looks like you got off easy that time, Douglas fir. Pine beetles don't like you, but uh, I think there's something else in the forest you should watch out for tonight. What do you think a fur beetle might eat? Um, a nice fur coat? How about a devil fur coat? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out pine beetles don't like Douglas fur, but fur beetles do like Douglas fur. The tree falls in a forest, and nobody's around to hear it because it makes a sound. If it's a Douglas fur, it obviously does. Let's, uh, let's see what happens when our, our pine beetles check out a different tree in the forest. Maybe, uh, maybe a nice white spruce like this one here. Mmm, smells like I can eat this one. I can curl up under the bark and stay all winter. I want to stay warm when the temperature drops. This bark is too thin for me. Suit yourself. Tastes okay and looks warm enough for me. Well, you folks in the audience, you know what the weather's like in Colorado. Warm today and frozen tomorrow. So uh, I hear the temperature is getting into the teens tonight. Let's watch and see what happens when the temperature drops and this poor pine beetle just has to hang out underneath the thin, 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 thin bark of this white spruce tree. Man, it's getting cold under here. That'll teach you. Come on, Winter. Freeze this bug under my bark. Who? Stupid then, tree bark. If the cold doesn't kill me, the woodpeckers will. Ha, 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 ha. Uh. Oh, that is one frozen beetle. Ew. Well, I think we still have pine beetles. At least one of them out there looking for a warm home and a taste 
tasty meal tonight. Let's uh, let's perhaps see what happens when they uh, they meet that nice young lodgepole pine down there. to survive in fire, like thick bark. Low, no low limbs that will catch on fire. Special season cones that open up after a fire. Like an underground root system. So don't be worried about the trees. Yeah. And last but not least, we have a special thanks that we would like to give to some of the, the folks that have helped put this play together. So I'd like to thank our crew and bring a couple of our behind the scenes crew members now. Thank you to Mr. Miss Christine for reserving the stage. Um, 